If you've ever seen a piece of coral, you might have thought it was a pretty and porous rock. But corals are not rocks, and they're not plants. In fact, coral reefs are huge colonies of a distant relative of the jellyfish, coral polyps. And like all living things, they die. Unfortunately, we've already lost 50% of the world's corals, and we're at risk of losing even more. But all is not lost, yet. In one lucky accident, a researcher found a way to make coral grow 40 times faster than it naturally does in the wild. So, how does it work, and why is it so important to restore coral reefs anyway? It takes 25 to 75 years for corals to reach sexual maturity, but researchers found that micro-fragmenting them speeds up this maturation process. When the corals are broken up, it stimulates rapid healing and growth to replace the polyps it has lost. This growth rate is 40 times faster than normal. This means corals can be grown in weeks and months rather than years. So, instead of collecting coral larvae and waiting for them to settle and grow, researchers take a living coral and break it into tiny pieces. These tiny pieces all grow back into equally sized pieces in a fraction of their natural growth time. After just a couple of months, the coral creatures are developed enough to be planted on existing reefs in order to replace those that have been lost due to bleaching and disease. What's more, because new corals are all genetically identical to each other, they fuse together easily and form large colonies. Thanks to this technique, we can now fragment, grow, and recombine corals in under two years to a size which would normally take 100 years, enabling much faster restoration of reefs. But coral reefs cover less than 1% of the Earth's surface, so what is all the fuss about restoring them? It's because coral reefs are home to a quarter of all marine species on the planet. They are also important to more than 500 million people who depend on them for food, jobs, and recreation, with an estimated economic impact of $375 billion a year. Without reefs, billions of sea life creatures would suffer, millions of people would lose their most significant food source, and economies would take a major hit. Corals also act as natural barriers, canceling out 97% of a wave's strength and protecting more than 200 million people. Building seawalls for the same protection costs $2.5 million per mile. And these are just the impacts that scientists can predict with near certainty. No one can be sure about the full extent of what would happen if coral reefs were to disappear. But if we continue polluting our oceans and atmosphere, we will have to face these consequences, and possibly more.